Hi guys, it's Kim here again at KTB Creates. Thank you so much for checking back in with me. Um, I'm excited because today I want it to start um, going into more of a spring look. So I want it to freshen up my centerpiece for my dining room table. So I had stopped in the local Goodwill store, which I love, and I picked up a couple of pieces. Um, but first off, I wanted to show you this because I was so excited to find this. I've been looking for something like this and I got this at Target. It was actually $12.99, which I thought was a little bit much, but I loved it. I love the shape of it and the lines. And I originally wanted something like this for my uh, front porch. Um, but then I started thinking like, there's gotta be a way that I can somewhat recreate it because I didn't wanna buy more than one. I wouldn't spend too much. Um, so when I was at my Goodwill, I found one of these little carafes. <laughs> uh, it was $1.99. Um, I know it's not like identical to the look, but it kind of has the same lines. It's not as tall, um, but I thought this would look cute outside on my front porch. I'm going to paint it. I'm going to spray paint it um, and maybe add some, you know, rope accents and things like that. So I'll make it look more of an antique type look. Um, and from, you know, farther away, I think it'll look really cute. So I'm going to show you how I do that. And then um, I was so excited to find this giant ball mason jar. It has this cute little lid, although I don't know that I'll be using the lid. But again, that was $1.99. So I think I'm gonna paint this um, and use it for a flower arrangement on my dining room table. Um, and then I got this cute little um, jar. It was 50 cents. I thought it was so cute with the little iron um, hanger. So I grabbed that. And then I just wanted to show you this because I'm actually gonna paint this. So this is something that I had. So this is just a wood tray. Um, I think I got, I, well, it still has the price on it. So I, some, a long time ago, got it at Kohl's. I'm certain I didn't pay $40 for it because I would never pay $40 for this, but that's what it looks like. So it's just a wood tray. I've used it for years. Um, it's definitely seen its day, so I'm definitely gonna be painting it. Um, and I'm gonna use that as part of the centerpiece. So I just wanted to show you all my little finds and what we're gonna do with them. So I hope you enjoy it. Please stick around, click that subscribe button and tap on that notification bell so you get to see all of my videos. Okay, catch you later. So first off, I painted this tray that I had in Waverly chalk paint in ivory. Um, and then I actually ended up going over it in white. I didn't like the ivory so much. Um, and now I'm just gonna tape off the tray. I'm gonna go in with my Waverly chalk paint in elephant gray. Um, so I'm, I'm taping off the section that I want to paint gray. Um, so I'm just going to do two stripes down the tray. And this is what it looks like painted. And I love this part. Ripping off the tape is the best part. <laughs> um, and this is what it looks like after it's all painted and dried. And then I'm going to go in with a sanding sponge and just um, distress that the gray um, bands there um, just a little bit so you could see some of the white through it. So now we're going to start with our decorating pieces. So this is that large ball mason, mason jar um, container that I had bought at my Goodwill. I'm just painting that in my Waverly chalk paint in ivory. Um, you just, I think I just did um, one coat on this. It, it covered really, really well. Um, I did let it dry overnight um, just to make sure it was nice and dried. And now we're gonna go in and tape this off. We're gonna do a buffalo check print on this jar. 
So I'm simply taking my painter's tape and I'm using the width of the painter's tape as like a spacer between the lines. So you'll see here, I use this piece as my spacer and then I go in and I add a piece of tape where the line's gonna go. Then I remove that spacer piece. So you're gonna do that all the way around your jar. Make sure the tape is, is adhered to it really, really well. Then I went in with a light gray paint and that's what I painted those vertical lines on the jar. It's like a lighter gray acrylic paint. So once you let that dry, now I'm gonna do um, horizontal stripes around the jar. Again, using the painter's tape as a guide for my spacer in between the lines. And you're just gonna tape all the way around the jar. So that's my spacer piece. And then I go ahead in with my, the piece that I'm gonna tape down. Now I'm gonna go in and paint this section in, I'm actually gonna use my Waverly chalk paint in Elephant to paint this section. Um, so it's a little bit of a darker gray cause I wanted it like a variation in the different grays. You could go back in and paint it in the same color gray um, if you want it to. Um, but I, like I said, I wanted it a little bit of a color uh, variation. So that's the elephant gray chalk paint. So now I'm just peeling off that tape. Um, and now we're gonna go back in and tape it. You're gonna tape all of the white pieces off vertically. And then you're gonna go ahead back and tape off all of the light gray pieces horizontally because now you're going to make your little squares of black and you'll see what I you'll see how I do that in a second. So here's the horizontal. Here's where you're going to tape it horizontally where all that light gray paint is. And then all the spots where the dark gray is showing is going to actually be your black paint. So I just went in again with a black acrylic paint, painting all those little squares. And for all these stripes and everything, I just did um, one, one coat worked out fine. So now let's rip off all that tape and see what we have. It came out really well. Um, you will see some sections where um, the paint did bleed a little bit, especially towards that bottom, but those are all the little spots that it bled. But no biggie, we're gonna go in with like a small um, artist paintbrush and just touch up all those little spots. If you're gonna distress your jar a lot, you know, you might, that might not even bother you that you have those little spots, but I just went ahead and, and fixed them up really quickly. So now I'm going to apply um, some rope around the top, just using my hot glue gun. And this rope, I found a big roll of it at Walmart. You can also use the rope that they have at the Dollar Tree. That would work out fine as well but I think this added a nice little touch. I wasn't really thrilled with the way the top of the buffalo um, check looked where the, the jar narrowed. So that's kind of why I decided to go ahead and do this, but I think it also does add a nice little decorative touch. And now I'm gonna go in and use some cotton twine um, and I'm just gonna make a little bow
And I'm just gonna apply that to the jar with some hot glue just to give it a cute little touch. I did wet distress the front of the jar where, where it says ball mason jar. I just wanted to bring out that lettering a little bit more. Now, this sign I did get at the Dollar Tree. Excuse the, the angle of this picture. I'm not sure why it came out that way. Um, although it's a cute little saying, I loved it. I'm actually going to do my own thing with it. So since it's going to be on a tray on my dining room table, I painted the back of it all black um, because you will be able to see the back of the, the sign. And then the little circle in the front, I don't have video of it, but I did paint that in my Waverly chalk paint in white. So that's what it looks like when it's all done. And then I just dry brushed some white chalk paint on it just to add some distressed look. But I love that little buffalo check plaid in the background. I cut this little hello um, piece out using my Silhouette Cameo. So I'm just gonna apply that to the little circle. And I just think it adds a cute little touch. I love it. So here is the finished tray. So now we're gonna put it all together with our mason jar. I just bought some greens at, I believe these were from Walmart. So they're very inexpensive. Um, and then I had some onion grass from the Dollar Tree. And that's my cute little hello sign that we made. Along with that little jar that I bought at my Goodwill, I'm just gonna stick a little um, flower in it. Nothing fancy, just a little spring touch. These are the fern um, piece from the Dollar Tree. And then I'm just gonna add another little flower on top. And that is the tray. I love the way it came out. So excited with it. I think it adds a cute little spring touch for my dining room table. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it was a lot in a video, um, but I just love that buffalo um, plaid. I'm obsessed with it. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Please, all as always, like, share my videos. Um, I would love to have you as a subscriber. And for those of you that have subscribed, thank you so much and I hope to bring you a lot more like this. Have a great day.